out in the middle of nowhere, Arkansas. This is one of the worst, like the sketchiest roads. Said a while ago, the next seven miles is super curvy and steep. And if you drive like a tractor trailer truck, then turn around because <laughs> you cannot make it through these hairpin turns. And I'm in my 2000 Silverado with 260,000 miles on it and 20 by 10 wheels that are super heavy on 33s and my truck does not like all these hills and it does not handle very well so this is about worst case scenario for trying to drive. So, good times. 10 mile an hour corner. That is insane. Yeah, this is a pretty spicy road. Jeez. my truck bogs down going up these hills and stuff. you're supposed to go 15 miles an hour because there's loose gravel everywhere which is not ideal when it's like this Kirby it's like pretty hectic my truck weighs like a bazillion pounds so it does not stop super well so that's not ideal probably but like 45 minutes left of this stuff apparently which is also not ideal so, wish me luck yeah loose gravel 15 miles an hour <laughs> uh, that's hectic Apparently, the roads only get worse because I was told that it was going to turn into legitimate gravel. So I don't know when that starts, but not really looking forward to that because that's going to suck for an extended period of time. But I'm going to see how it goes, but this is ridiculously curvy. So, we're like legitimately out in the middle of no, oh, there's gravel, sick. So, <laughs> gravel road literally out in the middle of nowhere, like somewhere in Arkansas. And I just realized that that looks like a full moon to me. So, hopefully we survive. I can, I can hear the banjos off in the distance. <laughs> Not ideal like legitimately a gravel road and we're still 40 minutes away so this may get a little a little spicy though so i'm in the truck which i guess that's good but it doesn't have the greatest suspension it's like a three-quarter ton truck so we're gonna see how this goes this may not be super fun Oh well. So my 
my buddy when he was telling us about this said that it was about a mile of gravel road to get out here and I assumed that that was an exaggeration and that was a poor decision because that is, it is no joke a mile and it is like this. So I'm in a 2000 Silverado 2500 four wheel drive that weighs a lot <laughs> and the suspension is not very good. Torsion bar front end, it's not handle all these freaking bumps. And they are in a Jeep Trailhawk, which is kind of, sort of, literally made for stuff like this. Just getting the crap beat out of you on a gravel road. So, yeah, they're definitely having probably way more fun than I am. Because I am getting destroyed. Oh. So that is the place. Richland Creek Campground one mile away thank you sweet baby jesus because this has been a very hectic drive and it's like yeah 9 30 at night getting here which is also not ideal I'm trying to like avoid all the bumps but it's the entire road so that's not really a thing oh geez yeah that's pretty brutal so yeah, if you're planning on coming out here, then prepare yourself, because it is no joke a mile <laughs> of gravel road. And they're probably some of the roughest gravel roads that you've ever driven. And they're super, super curvy. Yeah, quite spicy. Man, I thought we were almost there, but this is like literally a never ending road. Said we were a mile away, which to be fair, I'm going like half a mile an hour. Well, I'm actually going like 20 miles an hour, which is real fast on this, because it's not very fun, but yeah, this mile's like the longest mile in the world, because this is super hectic. Late o'clock at night. I've been up since 5 a.m. What the heck is going on? What is happening? Oh, Jesus Christ. Sketchiest bridge I've ever seen. Yeah, that's spicy. legitimately don't understand how anyone else comes out here. This is so hectic. Like, where the heck are we even at? Allegedly, they got some cool waterfalls out here, so... hope that's true, because this is spicy. vehicle max per campsites. We have conveniently three vehicles. Don't tell the park rangers, I guess. I don't really know how that works. I 
assumed that these were the humans that we were here with, but it's not. There's other people that are actually down here, which is kind of insane. I thought it was back up and uh... Made it, bud. Yeah. yeah, that was like the rowdiest road I've ever been on in my entire life. Oh, dude, just wait till we go up there tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. Are you, are you going to back me up here? Yeah, I guess so. 